Is this even real life right now? I'm not really sure. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. That's how I feel. Do I look like I'm in the twilight zone? I look like I came out of a dumpster, but you know. That's not very self-care of me, is it? Hi guys. <laughs> What's up? I gotta get these glasses out of my hair first of all. So Portia, my younger pup, chewed my Ray-Bans to pieces. Like my Ray-Ban eyeglasses. Look at this, can you see this? <laughs> I can't bring myself to get new ones because I literally wear these three minutes per day. Like I take my contacts out when I'm going to bed. I put the glasses on to watch five minutes of TV and then I'm asleep, you know? But that day comes every once in a blue moon where for some reason you end up needing your glasses for like during the day and I know that day is gonna come and I'm gonna be like girl these things they're like stabbing behind my ears because they're so sharp and I need to just go back and buy new eyeglasses I just don't feel like it you guys your girl had a really 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 bad day yesterday times have been rough and I think it's really interesting that life got real shitty on me right when I quit like the full-time bartending I don't know what it is let me get my contacts in, because right now I can't see you. I can't see me. And I <laughs> don't think I even want to be able to see myself. Clearly I'm going through it, because I did two things yesterday that are very out of character for me, okay? I know some people get really freaked out by eye touching. So, I got my claws cut off, which is crazy for me. Here's what we got. They are still little baby acrylics, but I just asked her to do them like the same length as my real nails and on camera they're coming up like a lot more bluey blue but in person they're more of like a navy funny enough I it was easier for me to bartend with long nails now that I'm doing content creation and like a lot of editing more so you guys me and my lap like my long fingernails and my MacBook they don't get along okay I broke two nails when I had my long nails and I was using it was one on each finger it was like my middle finger here and my pointer finger here I was using those two nails for everything I was doing and finally I was like girl we got to get those we got to get those cut off so we did that but I'm just gonna get myself ready for the day and I think I do want to run I have to go grab something from Sephora I can't decide if I want to go to Sephora or Ulta When I was within my first year sober, still living in the sober living, I was getting lash extensions and that's the last time I did that because I felt like I was ripping my eyelashes out and it just, no, it was no good. So I stopped, okay? Um, now, I'm at my nail salon yesterday and the owner, Bella, she was talking about how she does lashes and she was just like, come on, let's just go do it, come on. I'm like, uh, okay, listen, she caught me at a weak moment. She caught me at a weak moment. I'm at one of those moments where if it's lash extensions that are going to make me feel better, babe, I'm down to try anything at this point. Yeah, so we did some hybrids, so I didn't do like full volume that I normally would have back in the day, but I wasn't sure if classics were gonna be enough, so I went in the middle and I did hybrid, and I asked her to do a little cat eye. Now that I have them on, if I could go back, I honestly would probably do classics just for like a super light, this is honestly more than I was expecting to see. The whole point is, that's not something that I would generally do, so, you know, but I was really shocked. I got my nails done, these little guys, and my lashes for 150 bucks, like total. I used to go to Deca Lash back in the day. Do you guys know Deca Lash? It's like a chain. I'm not trying to fire shots or anything. But what a ripoff that used to be. I'd pay them over $300 for lash extensions. It was craziness. You know what? Here's an idea. How about I get dressed? The nails. We cut them off. Look at this. I have a little baby acrylics on here. They're coming out a lot more blue on camera. But they're a little more navy in person. I don't know. Maybe that is pretty accurate. Maybe I wanted them to be more navy. Maybe that's what it really is. I haven't had nails this short and I couldn't tell you how long, okay? But... Number one, I ripped one clean off last week, clean off. Like I needed 30 seconds of silence. It was painful. I feel like life is kicking my ass, big time. I talked on the phone with my mom for like two hours last night. And by the end of the phone call, I was like, you know what, mom? I just need to call my therapist. I mean, I know I'm not perfect. I don't, I don't think I'm perfect, but I do think that I 
make good decisions and I know I'm a good person and so I can't figure out if it's me bringing this shit storm onto myself or if it's just the universe like hang on tight girl it's almost over you know like I, I'm not really sure where where we're at with all this and I don't care what it takes besties I'm gonna have a good summer there's nothing quite like filling your hair with gel and hairspray the morning after you washed it like washing my hair with my extensions in it's a process I have to like plan for it that's not just something that I can willy-nilly say let's wash my hair that's like a that's like a plan and a process so the fact that I'm putting gel in it is usually it's just it slick back styles or anything that requires me to gel up down or back that is something I would generally do like close to a day where I need to wash my hair not the day after I wash it but that's okay this gel I actually really like because it has I don't know, it has some stuff in it that's actually good for your hair and it makes, I think it adds, I don't know if it's protein or if it's just moisture, but it, I feel it, it's in, in a good way. It's this guy here. I felt like I kind of looked like a rodent there for a second. This side actually looks really good. This side, however, looked like a man with a mullet. <sighs> I cannot believe how bad that hurt my hand. The plan today is to simply take care of myself. Here's what I need. I need more of my Way perfume, my favorite. Um, I prefer North Bondi is my favorite in terms of what you can get in the store. The reason I was thinking maybe I should go to Sephora is because I want to try a couple new products that I've been seeing around lately. Now that we're moving on to face, like skincare and face, I actually want to redeem myself with this snail mucin because, whoo, that was loud. After I posted that video telling you guys I like it, which I do like it, I saw a video on TikTok, come to find, I was putting it on incorrectly. So I was doing it at the right step of my skincare routine, after toner, before moisturizer but there's a kick to it. And I guess you don't get optimal results out of it unless you do it this way. So you guys are spending the money. We're all spending our money on this product. It would be nice if we were getting the most out of this product. And so I want to show you guys how you, how you, how you do that. All right, I'm putting these rotovies in my eyes. I felt like after getting lash extensions yesterday, for the rest of the day, my eyes were burning. I assume from the glue or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going through it, you guys. So yesterday started out okay. Like I said, went to the nail salon and then things got rough. I got into a you know little fight with the co-parent. And you guys, I just get so stressed out when I fight with him. Like, I think it's just because of the ties and because of I mean, it's my daughter. My kid is my world. My kid is my whole entire universe. So when I fight with my co-parent, like it just rocks my world. And that's something that I need to work on in therapy. Like why I allow the amount of energy that I do come out of me in an argument with him. Like my day was over because of it. There were still things I wanted to do. In fact, I was gonna to go to a meeting because I've been saying that I wanna start going to meetings again. And really the main reason for that is for the community aspect of it. I feel like I'm lacking real life friends in the rooms lately. Like I used to have a lot and I feel like I do better when I have like this large community of people around me and I haven't had that in a long time and I've been okay. Um, but I know it could be better because it has been, I know I know what that's like. And that's the cool thing about AA or any sort of program that has worked in your life because you always, you, you always know you can go back to it, you know it's available to you and you know what it can do for you. I wanted to also do that, I wanted to start going back to church for the same reason. During that time of not really going to meetings anymore and COVID shutting the world down, I really started, that's when I started my social media journey. Um, and as much as I had so much success in the regard of social media and in my career, I was, my, my social life was suffering as a direct result. Does that make sense? And so, you know, I just kind of stayed surrounded by, you know, family and then, you know, people who I was associating with by the things I was doing, which was like volunteering at Myla's school and coaching cheer. And so 
you know, it was nice because I was able to meet some mom friends and that is always helpful and that's always so, so nice. But having that community of sober people and people who understand what it is that you're going through that the rest of the world doesn't quite get, there's something very special about that. And like I said, I'm fine. I just know how great it feels to have that because I've had it before and I'm craving it again. So back to what I was initially talking about, my plan was to go to a meeting and I just had, I had this little night planned for myself and I was gonna feel good and do good and that all went down the shitter because of this argument. I just found myself so upset and so distraught last night that I like couldn't even be in a public setting speaking to people who I haven't seen in a really long time or I'm meeting new people. It just like wasn't, I couldn't do it even though I knew deep down that that was probably what I needed most. Um, but anyway, so it was rough, it was really bad. And I said to myself last night, I'm like, this has to be the end of this. Um, and so for now, um, I'm just gonna stick to co-parenting with Mimi. There has to be a no contact situation right now because that is what is healthy for everyone involved. Um, it's just, it's just, yeah. That's all we're gonna say about that. But yeah, so I was already kind of struggling yesterday and then all that happened and it just threw me for a major loop. So we're going to have a better day today. Um, I'm going to take better care of myself. I'm going to give myself more grace and I'm going to stop putting myself through the ringer because I think it's what I should be doing as a mom. I'm gonna stop doing that now. Um, so here's going back to this nail mucin now that I'm doing a little bit of skincare. Obviously I shouldn't be putting this toner on like this. I shouldn't be using a little cotton pad, but I'm not, okay? Do as I say, not as I do. So apparently, by the way, that is the Glow Recipe um, toner, the Watermelon Glow, PHA and BHA. Oh my God, it's even been different to do skincare without the long nails. I, I really am enjoying it. Uh, the, the point here with this snail mucin is, you're supposed to apply it while your toner is still wet on your face. Not only that, but I guess you don't do like circular motions or rub it in like, like you would a lotion. I guess you're supposed to pat it into the skin. So see mine's still a little bit damp. Apparently this is how you see the most benefits from the snail mucin. So I didn't know this until, free, until recently. So I'm gonna start doing it like this and then I will definitely let you guys know if I notice any differences or if I notice it's working more. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do with my hair is a little braid. I think I'm gonna do a little braid in, within the ponytail. We look, we're giving very much clean girl aesthetic today, aren't we? While you're not feeling well and don't wanna be like putting a bunch of makeup on every day and like, you know what I mean? You're already struggling to take care of yourself. I think the clean girl aesthetic is the way to go. Cause I think it makes you feel good but also you're not having to put all of this work in to have like full glam and stuff. So yeah, when you're feeling sad, when you're going through it, stick to the clean girl aesthetic. Um, focus on things like skincare that kind of drown out the noise. Anything that can drown out the noise while also benefiting you. So like yoga, I've really been utilizing that Aura app that I shared on here with you guys. In addition to the co-parenting drama, um, the other stuff that has just been really affecting me is my mouth pain. I've been having tooth pain for, um, we are going on over five weeks now, almost six weeks. Uh, last Monday, I was scheduled for my root canal to finally end all of this. And the root canal was unsuccessful. As you guys know, I went to Pitt Dental School here in Pittsburgh because you know, it's, it is really nice that we have that option because it's half the price and that's why I did it. And also because I've had family that have gone to Pit Dental for root canals. My best friend just had one done there. So I personally knew people who had had really good experiences and for half the price, I'm like, count me in, right? I don't know guys. I don't know if it was my mouth or if it was this student. Nonetheless, the root canal was unsuccessful. The kid didn't finish it. And his reasoning to me was, he told me that my canal is so tiny that he couldn't fit his tools in my canal. Never heard such a thing in my life, babe, but I don't know. So anyway, I have to go back in three weeks for him to finish it. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of freaked out about it. On top of that, guess what? 
I already paid them. They make you pay before you get your services done, which kind of sketches me out because now here I am, I paid them over $600 and I don't have this, I still don't have this root canal complete. So not only has that taken a mental toll and in, in just in terms of like frustration, um, but I've been in pain for literal weeks. There's nothing, in my opinion, quite like mouth pain. It just affects every aspect of life. Like I'm talking now and I feel it, you know, it just sucks. So that's been like really weighing on me. So it's just, um, it's just a bad season. You know what I mean? And it'll pass. And I feel like I've gotten through so much of it already that at this point it's, it's, we're getting there, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to stay positive about life and everything going on in it. It's summertime, I want Myla to have a good summer. You know what I think is really gonna do me in in the best way is going away to my parents' beach house in July. I think I just really need that, so I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that because I just feel like life has been kicking me in my ass. And it does feel like it all kind of like started when I got rid of all my days at the bar. So then I'm like wondering in my head, I'm like, is there, is, do I, am I around too much? Am I like in the neighborhood too often now that things can easily go wrong? Was working at the bar like distracting me and keeping me busy enough to like avoid like any drama within life? Like what is it babe? Because I'm still working my butt off, just not as a bartender. I don't know, it's quite crazy. All right, we need another ponytail hoarder to finish up the braid here. Like I said, uh, I wanna go get my favorite whey um, spray. And I just want to remind you guys that watch these like, I don't know, YouTube vlogs or hauls or videos where a content creator is buying a bunch of shit and they're like showing you what they bought or, you know, anything of those sorts. Please just keep in mind, we all buy these products, right? We buy what everybody else is buying. We want to be a part of the club. And then we're just more broke and we have more shit and nobody actually feels any better. So. If you are watching and you're like, oh, I can't afford this kind of stuff. I wish I could go do this kind of stuff. I promise you, <laughs> you're not really missing out on anything. It's impossible to keep up with all of the products that people recommend and buy and all of the cool new things that are trending. It's impossible. Yeah, buying all these products and staying up with the cool hot trends, it, it's really fun to watch, it is. But whenever your brain starts to do that, like, oh, I wish I could afford it. Immediately no, immediately no. Because these people aren't feeling any better <laughs> about their lives. They're just buying more shit because it's what everyone else is doing. So please do not feel like you're missing out or please do not feel envious or jealous of anybody you watch who maybe is like buying new makeup and new clothing and you're fine, okay? You're fine. You're not missing anything, I promise. How's the braid look, guys? I know it's probably has hairs poking out because my real hair is so short and I know my flat tips are showing on this left side here. I don't care. This side probably looks so much better. Okay, so we've done the watermelon toner. We have done the snail mucin. Today we're gonna use the Dew Point by Burst. I do really like this product. I really, really like it. They sent me um, a couple of their products and now I really like them and now I've spent my own money on them. That's what these brands do. They send you something one time, you fall in love with it, and then you're out here buying it. <laughs> I have the worst luck with sunscreen. I don't know what it is. So then I'm like, okay, Abby, don't put it like on your eyelids because I will be like getting it everywhere when I'm rubbing it in. But like even then, if I sweat or anything and it's on my forehead, it gets into my eyes. Anyway, I still use it. It's not like a deal breaker. It's just annoying. And I guess I'm just curious if anybody else has gone through that. Is it that nobody's willing to talk about it because we all love the product so much? Like what's happening, babe? <laughs> Here we go. I really like this braid. I like this hairstyle. Um, you know, this like middle part that doesn't like come down this way, but go straight back like that. So funny enough, when I was doing my hair this morning, it clicked. It clicked how to successfully do this. I have always tried to like, when I'm parting the hair to do this kind of ponytail with this type of part, I would always try to like brush my hair straight back, but keep the middle part and it was so hard and it would never work. All you do is brush your hair straight back, put in the ponytail, squeeze tight, and then start separating your part out again and then get product and come back. It clicked, babe. I know, 
Would you even believe me if I told you I'm a licensed cosmetologist? I'll tell you what though, one thing I hated, uh, one thing I did not do was like updos or any services for weddings. Um, no brides, no. Now, one thing I did do is like, um, I've done a bride, some brides and some bridal parties makeup. I would totally do your makeup for your wedding, but don't ask me to do your hair. I am so bad at updos. And thank God nowadays, updos are a lot more like low bond and like really basic. Do you guys remember back in the day when we would like have those extravagant updos where your hair would basically be in a high pony and then you would curl the ponytail and then you would randomly just stick bobby pins everywhere and next thing you know, we had this like mop on our head. Do you guys remember that? All right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you guys what. If I had my eyebrows laminated right now, we would have chef's kiss, the most phenomenal clean girl aesthetic going on. Oh, that is the only thing we are lacking. I think that's really all I want to do to the face. I don't want to put any foundation, any makeup on. You know, it might look pretty though with our little clean girl look. Um, so all we did was sunscreen. I don't even, you know what I could do is primer. I have on a really shiny glowy primer. In fact, this might make me look too shiny, but let's go for it. So this is the Zio Skin Health Illuminating Serum. I'm obsessed with this. It's basically MD. This is also very glowy, so we'll see if this makes it too glowy or if it's all right. Because what I was just thinking I want to do is I think I want to just put a little bit of the Peach Gasm blush on by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm trying to master the perfect summer look here. And I think we're doing a pretty good job at it. Pretty dang good, babe. Because think, we still don't have any makeup on per se right now. So that's pretty phenomenal. So the last thing that I was thinking could be great is a little peach gasm blush. Let's give it a go. It is pretty peachy, so there is a decent bit of orange in here. So we'll see what this does. I'll put it in a couple spots just to like. Yeah, I think that was the move. I think that was perfect. Look at that, we got our sunscreen on. We still have no foundation on our face, no concealer on our face. I could have done some concealer, but the whole goal here is, is to keep it as easy for the summertime as humanly possible, right? The final touch for our little no makeup makeup look would be lips right? Got to get something on the lips. So I would recommend a million things too. The Rosebud Salve is my favorite. Okay. You can get that at Ulta. The Refi, phenomenal. I'm not a big fan of glossy or sticky products. So I like things that are more water-based. I'll even just use Aquaphor. I love these Dior. My mom got me this one for Christmas. I'm just not a pink girl like that. Like that is so pink. Although it doesn't come out that pink on the lips. Another one that I actually like is this Rem Beauty, this Ariana Grande, this one here. It's not bad. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I can't lie to you guys. I'm not a fan of the Laneige products. I'm not a fan of them. I, I don't think they're that great. I don't think they're worth the hype. Another thing I bought, cause I was told it was good, was this Lip Plump um, Maracuja Juicy by Tarte. I didn't like it. I did not like it at all. So here I go with my little Aquaphor because that is what I like. Um, I'm really huge with lip products, so. If you're like me and you don't like anything sticky, uh, if you want me to share some of my favorites, I mean, I just did, but I have some more. But yeah, Refai is one of my top ones. Um, honestly, Hailey Bieber's little lip peptide, it wasn't bad. I liked the consistency of it. The only thing with that one was, it's just not worth the hype. Again, it's like, I'll just go get Aquaphor because it's the same thing. Actually, I changed my mind. I know what I want to put on my lips today. 
another pro lip product I'm absolutely obsessed with because it's a plumper, but it doesn't tingle the way most um, plumpers do. So it is, oh, I love it, lawless. And if some of you remember, I made a video on these little products, lip products by Lawless, and the, oh, and the video ended up going viral. So Lawless sent me flowers to say thank you, and they also sent me the cherry vanilla. Um, but today I'm gonna use, this is the, um, just this is Sweet Dreams. There's like three. There's Sweet Dreams, Cherry Vanilla, and then I think a regular vanilla, which I want that one. Um, but it's, I love the consistency of it. It's very light and airy. It's not heavy, it's not sticky. Um, let me get my aquaphor off. And I wear this during the day. Obviously you can also use it as a lip mask. And like I said, it doesn't tingle, but it does something. I can't even explain the feeling of it. Uh, it's not intense at all though, because I, I I don't like lip plumpers. I'm not a fan. Like Too Faced lip injection, not for me, babe. No, obviously I have lip filler, but look how gorgeous these lips look with this product. The only things I really need to do is get lotion on my body, and then I gotta go take some medicine because I'm getting a really bad headache and it's on the left side of my head and I know that it's from my tooth because I deal with it every day. So maybe, I'll, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself today. I'm gonna fill up a Stanley full of Coca-Cola because I deserve it. But I know for sure we need to do is run to Sephora and go eat at Chick-fil-A. So the dogs are gonna be very sad that I'm leaving them, but we will be back. So this is one of the minis of the Melrose perfume. This is what I'm gonna go grab today, but I, I need my big bottle. And I'm hoping for North Bondi, but we'll see if they have it. They also have other scents online that I've never tried, so I wanna try those. I wanna do that too. This is the Way Rose hair and body oil. I, I've never met a Way product that I did not like. Um, as that reads, it's hair and body oil, which is great. So you can use it for your hair, you can put it on your arms, your chest, your legs, if you want just like a little extra shine. See the lip product is starting to do it. It makes you feel like something's like on your face. I can't even explain it, but the, the sensation is way more subtle than a lip plumper that like tingles is. So I'll take it, babe. Okay, let's do a little comb comb. Okay. Good enough for me. I'll see you guys well, you soon. Gotta wake up to reality, cause I can see.